Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue on uh, with the Navigate with Fragments tutorial playlist that I've been doing. So the previous video was the very first one where I just uh, designed a basic, basic layout and uh, made it able to switch screens. Uh, it might actually be useful if I show you. Okay, so here's what we did in the first tutorial. I just had a basic, uh, this is going to be a list view that we're going to make. And if you click on the front page, it shows the front page. And we can, we can type in here, but it's not going to do anything yet. So now we're going to add some functionality to this thing. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a database helper, just because I think that's the easiest way to store data in Android. Yeah, so I'm, I, if you want to see my database helper tutorial, I'm going to provide a link here. Take a look at it because I'm just going to copy and paste a, uh, database that I, a database helper that is basically straight out of that tutorial. So <clears throat> I'll go over it really quick, but uh, basically if you want to learn how to do this, check out my SQLite tutorial. So if, if, you com if you're comparing this to this database helper to the one I'm making my SQLite tutorial, all I've done is I just create two columns. Um, in my other tutorial, I think I create like three. Um, so, and I label, you always have to have an ID. So I have an ID column and I have an item column. And I change the database name to items database and the table name to items underscore data. Uh, everything else is the same, except for this statement right here. So this is where you're just declaring your uh, columns in your SQLite database. So you have your ID, which auto increments, like always, that never changes, that will never change. And then instead of having, if you compare it to my other one, instead of having what I have, I have an, an item, it's gotta be the same as that, and then it's gonna be a text type. So pretty simple. This on upgrade is exactly the same. Uh, this add data is exactly the same, except I have more content values in my other one. So I'd have like content values dot put column, uh, column three and etc. But I don't have that here because I only have two columns. So that's that. This is exactly the same inside of the add data method, and this 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 get items this cursor is exactly the same except I renamed it to get items instead of like uh, get. I don't remember what I named the other one, but it's it's the same idea. You're just selecting all from the table. That's it. So there's a brief overview of the database helper. Once again, take a look at my SQLite uh, tutorial if you want to learn more about the database helper. Okay. So, where are we going to start? I guess we'll do our front page first. So if we look at our front page, we have an edit text and a button. So we need to typecast those first of all. And if when you're using uh, fragments, you have to make you have to make your your variables global. So what I mean by global is you declare them up here. Uh, what am I going to? I think this is button add to list, and the edit text is going to be uh, I think edit text add. So you have to make them global. Otherwise, if you don't make them global when you declare them down here, like say I was going to declare it down here, I'll just call it button. You'd you'd have to and then you like etc. You'd have to you'd have to declare it as final. Uh, or you can make it as global up here. So I I usually just prefer to make them global. Uh, so button add to list. Oopsie. And so when you're declaring variables in a fragment, you have to pass the view like this. So you do my view, uh, and then find the find the button. Button add to list, and this is going to be edit text add. Let's edit text. So yeah, like fragments are very similar. There's just a few little different things when you're referring to the view or the class. And I'll show you what I mean in a bit here. And oh, we need a we need to use our database helper. So database helper, we'll call it mydb because that's what I always call my databases. You can call it whatever you want; doesn't matter. Uh, new database helper. So this is what I mean by, um, like in a regular onCreate method, you would just use this when you're passing the, I'm not even sure what you call this. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Anyway, it'll come to me. Um, you have to, sometimes you gotta do this dot activity, or dot get activity, or get activity, or uh, get context. 
So if if this is ever a problem and you're you're playing with fragments, just play around with this. Like try this dot uh, context, oops, or or just simply get activity, or just try a whole bunch of different stuff, and eventually you'll get the right one. That's that's what I do anyway. There's probably an easier way to do it, but uh, I haven't found it yet. So the next thing we'll do is we're going to make our add data method down here, and oops. And if you want to, um, I guess I'll, I'll explain it a little bit. But if you want to know more about this method, it's it's the same method I always use when I'm adding data to an SQLite database. So if you want to uh, see me explain it in more detail, or maybe I just didn't explain it well enough in this one, check out my MySQL uh, database tutorial. I just use variations of the same thing. I find it uh, to be most effective. So yeah, it equals true. We can actually just put if insert data here, and we're gonna make a toast to say. And once again, we're gonna use this dot get activity instead of using this data successfully inserted exclamation mark sure. And uh, I can do toast length long and show. So that's just going to let us know that our data was inserted correctly uh, because this insert data is going to return true. Because uh, if we look at our database helper down here, it's going to return true if it's inserted correctly. So that's how, that's how we check. And then else, copy this line. Oops, see. Uh, so I just always say something went wrong. Unhappy face. Oops. There. Okay. So that'll be our add data method, which uses. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to explain it too much. If you want to know more about that, just check out my MySQL uh, database tutorial and I explain that in more detail. Okay. So now we will create our button. I guess I could uh, comment a little bit here. No, actually, I'll, I'll comment in uh, the, on the source code that I submit. I'll, I'll comment that that way. If you guys download the source code, don't want to watch the video. Get a little bit more detail. So I want to just trying to save time. I want to make this video as quick as possible. Nobody likes to waste time on a long video. So uh, what I'm so what I'm doing right here. This line right here um, is basically resetting the text box. So, oops. So, like when you type something and you hit add, once it gets added, the text is going to be set to nothing again, so it clears it. Otherwise, when you hit add, that text is still going to stay in there. I just it just makes it look better, I think. Actually, I'm just going to paste that same toast. Uh, okay, yeah. So this one, because uh, so you only got to use this dot get activity if you're if you're using it in a method outside of the uh, on create view. So in here, you're only going to use get activity. I think I think that's good. So now we'll go into our list view. I think yeah, we're going to do the same thing. So make our list view, we make it global, and we'll make our database helper, and we'll make an array list. We'll need that to store the uh, the strings that are in the database as we're bringing them in. So list view, pass the view. Sure, that's right. Let's. This is. Oops, the list view. Yeah, that's all right. So this is the list view. There we go. And get the database. Database helper is the get activity. Okay, so 
Oh, how did that happen? So now we're going to use the list and make a new array list. Declare a cursor. Uh, this is also explained in more t detail. In this line of code I'm going to write right here uh, in my MySQL uh, database tutorial. This is basically uh, just it queries all uh, because the get items method inside of the database helper right here will query everything in the database. So it returns all the rows of the database and it's now stored as this cursor uh, variable called data. Then we just need to check. Oh shit, I did it again. Oh, not that. Get count. Uh, so if if the if the rows returned equals zero, so basically if there's no data, I'll make a toast and it will say is no data in the database. Okay. And then else, that means there obviously is something in the database. And I use this same loop whenever I'm uh, querying data from the database. So basically it means while there's still rows remaining, it's going to keep iterating to the next rows. And then we just add that data to our array list. So I, I put a one here because I'm referring to column one in my database because the ID is column zero and the items are column one. And then we just need to make our list adapter. Just a plain old array adapter. We use get activity here, I think. And we'll just use a plain old simple list item. We'll pass it the list. So then list view dot set adapter. Throw our adapter in there. And I think I think we're good. I'm gonna run this and hope there's no errors. Okay, so yeah, first of all, we'll check to see if our toast, there's no data in the database, works. So we'll navigate over to the list views page, and boom, there's nothing stored in the database yet, so it says there's nothing stored in the database. Then we're going to go over to the front page, and we'll add something. So I don't know, uh, potato. So right, it's resetting the text, that's good. Data successfully inserted, that's good. Let's go over to our list view, and boom, we got potato. Now we're going to add peanut butter, because I like peanut butter. So it's successfully inserted, and boom, there you go, peanut butter. Uh, so that's it for, oops, that's it for this tutorial. Get out of here. Uh, I'm, I'm probably doing another one with fragments afterwards. I don't know what I'll do next. I'll come up with something. And, uh, but, but yeah, if you, if you like, if you like the tutorials on fragments, you know, don't forget to like the video so I know. I know that you, this is what you guys want to see. And uh, thanks for watching.